Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Abir's Book Reviews, and today I'll be reviewing From Dongri to Dubai by S. Hussein Zedi. So that's the book right there, and now let's talk about it. So the book is basically about the Indian Mafia and about how the underworld was developed after independence how it was just slightly before India gained independence in 1947 who were the major players and all that so it starts with an introduction to the Mumbai underworld and there are certain characters like Haji Mastan, the Patans, Karim Lala and Gawalis and they are all very big players in the Mumbai Mafia but eventually they are all wiped out except for a few and that is done by none other than the protagonist of this book that is Daud Ibrahim so it also talks about the corrupt cops all over Mumbai and how the executive system changed with certain governments and certain actions that were taken and how the corrupt cops became truthful cops for the most part. And then the book talks about Ibrahim Kaskar who is a policeman in Mumbai and he is a very honest and religious Muslim but he has involvement with the underworld. He doesn't support them, he just helps them out here or there in a case or something. And from Ibrahim Kaskar stem his children, one of whom is the notorious Daud Ibrahim Kaskar and he is the, I would say, world's biggest criminal and underworld don. And then the book just transitions from the general Mumbai underworld to Daud Ibrahim's gang, his doings, his origins, etc. And they talk about his gang, which includes Chota Rajan, Anis Ibrahim, his brother, another brother, a brother of his, Chota Shakil, Abu Salim, and there are a few other people. So, this book also talks about the Bollywood connections. So, Bollywood is the biggest film industry in the world, and the underworld has quite some connections with it. And not all of them are good because of the killing of T-Series founder Bhushan Kumar by one of the Mumbai underworld people. The book also talks about how the underworld has developed and how Daud Ibrahim shifted from Mumbai to Dubai and then to Pakistan where he is shielded by the ISI and other agencies then they talk about the 9-11 attacks and the global front as a whole and how multiple countries are trying to catch Daud Ibrahim and how he has maintained to, he has managed to be, uh, still be alive at this point in time. So that is pretty much all about the book that you need to know and this is a pretty phenomenal book. It's written by one of the best um, it's written by one of the best journalists in India and I think it's very good and you would enjoy it if you are, you know, involved. If you like reading about uh, the criminal world, whether it's fiction or non-fiction, you would definitely enjoy this. This kind of leans towards the James Patterson territory where, you know, some of it might seem fake, like how is this even possible? But you can rest assured that this book is based on real facts and that it is a supreme book and so that's one look at the book again so if you guys enjoyed make sure you hit the like button if you're new and haven't already done so subscribe to the channel to keep receiving more videos like this one i've been a rao and thanks for watching